Hi, I'm Ron Lanehart at Rotary Headquarters in Madison, Indiana. I am going to review the importance of lowering your lift to the locks. It's hard to believe that this simple step is one of the most important in the lifting process and one of the most overlooked. Lowering your lift to its locks is not just a safety precaution. It also helps protect your lift from premature wear. On a two post or a high pressure in ground lift, lowering to the locks helps relieve the pressure built up inside of the hydraulic cylinders. When a lift is not lowered to its locks, the pressure inside of the hydraulic system remains high. This pressure could end up causing the lift to jump or chatter upon restart, and it could decrease the lifespan of the hydraulic system. So remember to always lower to a lock to relieve the system pressure before raising again. When a four post is lifting, the weight of the runways and the vehicle is being lifted by a hydraulic cylinder pulling on cables to raise the lift. When the lift is not lowered to the mechanical locks, all the weight is suspended, adding constant strain on the cables and the hydraulic system. By simply lowering the lift to the locks, all of that strain is relieved. The importance of lowering to a lock is one reason why Rotary has introduced the lock light. With this one tool, you can have visual confirmation that locks are engaged and help protect your shop from potential fines. For more information on Rotary products, feel free to give us a call or visit us online.